the current listings in Hancock Park, and uh, we are down all the way to 62 from even a couple of weeks ago when it was, I think, creeping up a little bit. So really, uh, this is a very small inventory that we have. I'm going to take a look at the one. There's one coming soon, but look at them all from the last, let's say, uh, should I say the last uh, month? Uh, and then we'll see how much there is. Uh, we'll go back in chronological order. <clears throat> Okay, February 19th, coming soon, 1029 Arlington, uh, which is not really in our area. Agent detail. You know what? Uh, before I do that, why don't we just check the other listings, the actives and the solds. I'm sorry, not the solds, but the, the solds and the pendings. Last... Basically, last two weeks. What's happening? In the last. Oh, that's a minute. Just a second. All right. Last two weeks, we have had four sales. Incredible. So those four sales, one on Westchester Place, kind of out of the area, and the other two, one being at 3795, but everything else being under 2 million. <clears throat> so not a lot of sales. Let's see about the escrows. Eighteen new escrows. So that's well. Actually, we're going to look at the. I think we'll keep the pendings out because <clears throat> that usually means that they've gone uh, through an inspection process. So thirteen under contract in the last two weeks, thereby cutting into the inventory even more. All right. So. I don't know. Are we going to get? Remember, we were running along in the fall with um, you know almost a hundred listings, and then this the winter came, and basically we've had uh, we went down to sixty ish or sixty five, and it stayed that number. I would have thought by now we would have had some more listings coming on. I mean, what happened to those? 40 listings, 35 listings that came off the market. Are they not coming back? Were they just testing the market? <clears throat> I know those numbers may be a little on the high end, but I don't know how many came off the market that didn't come back on. We could maybe look at that, but let's see here. So these are the four listings that just sold. Let's go through them quickly, starting with the highest first. And that's the one on Las Palmas, 533 North Las Palmas by Ari Afshar. So up there by Melrose on one of the smaller lots west of the golf course. Three beds, three baths, 2,800 square feet, 8,000 square foot lot. So not on the small side there, fourteen hundred dollars a square foot. Yeah. Amazing. What what's up with that? It's it, something's really weird with that. That's too, that's way too much money for that house. Yeah. <laughs> the I mean, agent is really... a respectable agent, so there's not a question I that asked, he made a mistake. I asked I asked Jenna Cooper what because she was representing the buyer. I was like, "What? what's the story here? And she, I never heard back. Really? Something, something they, uh, odd. 
Zero days on market. Don't you think something's odd there? It's quite a lot of money. Lot? It's a pretty big lot, right? Yeah. Oh, no, tiny. I mean, well, I mean, for, for those houses dollars, there in that for four million dollars, you get at least twice large. as much land usually. It's not even two story, is it? No. They only provide one photo right now. Okay, well, if anyone figures it out, let's go to the next one, 708 Lorraine. This is south of Wilshire in the Windsor, what is it, Windsor Village neighborhood. Five beds, three baths, almost 3,000 square feet, 7,300 lot sold for 1.86, which is the general going rate in that area. Grace Kim was the listing agent. Um, it was a little bit close to Wilshire. 948 South 3rd. This is over in the Wilshire, what's it called? Vista or Wilshire Park. Neighborhood East Crenshaw, south of the 10. I'm sorry, south of Wilshire. Three beds, two baths, almost 2,000 square feet. <laughs> 8669 lot got 1.4 and that's 747 a square foot pretty standard procedure there that looks like uh maybe a little bit on the high side actually for that neighborhood <laughs> all right and then i think the last one is on westchester place which is really kind of out of the area okay so let's go back to the actives with the most recent new listings. I'm going to go back two weeks and hopefully we'll get some. Anyone venture to guess how many new listings we've had? <laughs> Great. Yeah. It looks we've like one, one, one in the last week. Quite a doozy as well. 9.5 million. Oh. So keeping it exciting here, 637 South Lucerne. Okay, so this is the big house right next to the commercial property. Had a hard time selling. I mean, it's literally the last house before you get to a giant, uh, I think it's a par office building that's right on Wilshire. Uh, which is, So it's an unfortunate location because it's an incredible house. Nine beds, 11 baths, 12,000 square feet. It's been on the market before. I think somebody fixed it up. 18.9. Sorry, 18,900 lot in the shadow of a large commercial building, 9.5 million. So it's 781 a square foot, which cool anywhere house. else it would, get more. it would get more. And this is listed by David Rindenau of Compass. <clears throat> I That's love the one house. Soren did. Yeah. Right there to the right, for those of you who haven't seen this house, that's the building. I'm sure they're not going to show it. So this has been completely reimagined. It was an incredible house before. I kind of liked it the way it was, but I know somebody going to want it updated. Look at that. Fish tank. Built-in fish tank. Wine cellar, lots of nooks. Beautiful staging, probably looks like, kind of like Meredith Bear. This house has a third floor, I believe. I am pretty sure, and uh, Anne, I'm sure you remember the details, but the house has been moved. It's not originally from here. It was downtown, right? Different house, I think you're thinking of. Oh. This one was the one that Zorin redid. And the the uh, buyer was a uh, wealthy woman buying it for her son and his children. And I think they moved from Citrus. I think they bought it about four, five years ago, maybe. And what did click they on the and click on the public record. I think mm -hmm. they paid eight for it. If you click on, yeah, seven six, seven six, and it was sold for three two back in 2017. Three years ago, okay. 
So three two to nine five. What do you think? Think it'll happen with that location? Yeah. Well, would you want that house or would you want Christian Odege's house or would you want uh, Shonda Rhimes' old house on 4th and Hudson that the Altman's own? They're all kind of in the same price point. I would want the Shonda Rhimes one because of the location. The other two are in crummy locations. Right? Yeah. Odigier is on 6th and Muirfield. Yeah. Well, okay. That was exciting. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, as far as the uh, number of listings we have here. So let's try the number of escrows. Uh, here we go. Okay, so this is a bit more of an exciting list here. We'll start with the uh, under contracts. <clears throat> That's there we go. 842 South Muirfield, south of Wilshire in um, Brookside. Three beds, three baths, 3,200 square feet, 7,800 lot. Listed by Amy Davis of Douglas Elliman. Got, uh, is asking uh, 2.4 million, which is 735 a foot, which is a decent number per foot. Uh, looks like it's a single story Spanish. That's, that's, that was one that was. It was what? Mm, I'm having trouble with my Wi-Fi here. Come on. It didn't sell. Well, right now my Wi-Fi is not connecting, so I'm just going to continue down the list here. And uh, I'm sorry. I, I, either you cut out. D d was everybody able to hear what Ann said? No. Could you say that again, Ann? About this that house? Was list, that was listed last year and didn't sell. So it's not a brand new listing. It was with DZ Penner. Ah. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those houses that has come back on the market yeah. or yeah. sold. Remember, it had that bizarre, yeah, it staged this time. Beautiful. Nice backyard. Um, next, 135 North Beachwood in Larchmont Village. Three beds, four baths, 2,300 square feet, 6,400 lot, decent lot, 2.6 million, which is 1,100 a square foot. Jackie Smith. Um, Beachwood is a decently nice location, is decent. Same thing that's been on the market off and on as a pocket and whatever since last July. Wow, July. July or August. A lot of time. Maybe it was August. What do you think has stopped it from selling? Just the price? It's a, it's a cool house and a really great location. It's just, I think it's a threshold of pricing that is mm. harder. I mean, yeah. if it's under if it's under two 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 three, I think it's um, you know, there's just more demand. It's not, I think it's an affordability thing. Yeah, but notice these things are going into contract. Um, I'm experiencing that as well. Stuff that wouldn't normally sell is now selling because there's so little. Peter Lorimer has this next one: forty nine fifty six Clinton, two beds, one bath, eight forty seven square feet i think ooh, we might have talked about this one before 750 uh 750 000, tiny 2000 lot so it's a small lot subdivision 884 dollars a square foot so condo can condo alternative here 
uh, for seven fifty. That makes sense. And the building next to the right. Okay. What kind of building? It's Commercial. Large. Yeah. Cute. Let's see. There it is. Yeah. Something under construction there. Yeah. Okay. Next one. 518 South Van Ness. Okay, so this is south of 3rd, north of Wilshire, west of Wilton, and um, not quite Windsor Square. Jenny Chow is the listing agent. 2.2 million, four beds, two baths, 2,700 square feet, 10,800 lots. So a nice lot, $800 a square foot. <clears throat> wow, good for her. Yeah. Remember, I think that's the one John Durler had a while back. Awesome. I wonder if they're not allowing her to photograph because these photos aren't the not really the best. Four beds, two baths, two point two million, eight hundred dollars a square foot. So it's on the Maybe a little bit on the upper end for that neighborhood, right off of sixth. I wonder how much pass through traffic there is there. 1051 Arlington, right on the busy Arlington is not really our area. Uh, five beds, three baths, 2,800 square feet, 8,200 square foot lot for 1.25. If you want to be on Arlington, you can get a house for 1.25. Okay, here's, I think this is an oldie but goodie. Is this being stuck again? Yes. Oh. In escrow 520. Now, this is a pending 5229 West 2nd. In escrow was seven beds, six baths, 6,200 lot. Was asking five million, which was uh, after a price reduction. 11,450 square, uh, square foot lot, which is a little bit of an oddball lot. And uh, $800 a square foot is what they're what they were listed at. And uh, we've, we've seen this house many times. It, and, uh, it's... Um... I think it's an escrow for less than its list price. Okay. It's the Army Hammer, right? Isn't that right? Did I yes. see that somewhere? Yeah. And Elizabeth. They're uh, separating. Yes. 208 South St. Andrews Place, kind of out of our area there. Maggie Bell, agent at Compass, four beds, four baths, 3,000 square feet, 9,000 lot, only 531 a square foot for 1.6 million. Must be pretty decent for that kind of price there. <clears throat> mm, eh. Next, 423 North Irving, Larchmont Village, three beds, uh, two baths, 2,000 square feet, 5,000 lots, so a little bit on the smaller side, 1.375. Anything at that price range is going to go quick. 15 days on market, which was asking about 700 a square foot. Oops, the agent was Jeremiah Eden of Sotheby's. Offered at 1375, it's uh, 1,900 square feet. Let, led off with the dining room photo. Pretty pictures, nice staging, lots of light. Small backyard. Ooh, got a little studio there, two-story studio. Very nice. So this came and went. Mm. Somebody's going to be very happy with that. This one has been on the market and sold while we were away. 862 South Wilton Place. So a lot of out of the kind of margins of Hancock Park. Three beds, four baths, 1520 square feet with a 7,200 lot. Uh, this is a townhouse, 945. So a little bit on the less, on the cheaper side. Josh Londoner, Douglas Elliman, again on Wilton. Um, a lot of a lot of them are over uh, over a million. So this one's only fifteen hundred square feet, though. Three twenty nine South Mansfield, one of the new houses, five beds, six baths, forty three hundred square feet. That's hard to get these days for a reasonable price. You can't. I don't think you can really build that large as easily anymore. Sixty seven hundred square feet. 
uh, is the lot, and the agent is Micah Rabino. Seven hundred eighty-eight dollars a square foot in uh, at three twenty-nine South Mansfield. So that's going to be south of Third, north of Wilshire. <clears throat> And escrow looks like they've removed the contingency and it is now pending. It looks pretty much the same as all. Uh, it looks like it had been owned maybe by a private individual. I'm not sure. 524 Lorraine. Uh, this is a primo location. Six beds, seven baths, 8,300 square feet. Huge house on a 25,000 square foot lot. This is a doozy, Juliet Honan of Douglas Elliman, only $6.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not being, uh, with, a, with an 8,300 square foot house on the 500 block. But the <sighs> main house good. itself, look, look up the main house. The main house is not that big, I don't think. Oh, okay. I wonder if they give a floor plan. There's the hallway. That's been on the market since July also. Yeah. I remember seeing it before, but I don't remember being as surprised as I am at 6.5 with 8,300. But if it's 3,000 in another property, then yeah, that makes sense. I think it's 2,000 for the guest house or something. There's the guest house. With a studio. I wonder if they're adding the little pool house square footage as well. Beautiful outdoor area. There you go. So it's a pretty big main residence, though, it looks like. Yeah. Look at the size of that lot. It's a decent location. I mean, it's not right on 6th. And it's seems like a good buy compared to what else has been out there for for more. 150 South Citrus over in Hancock Park adjacent. Three beds, three baths, just over 2,000 square feet, 6,500 lots. So average lot, uh, 1.795, which is 843 a foot, which is listed by Aura Mashiach. And I think Mashiach means Messiah. Her last name is Messiah. Interesting. All right. 150 South Citrus. This is a 2,100 square feet in the Hancock Park adjacent area. And it is a, if I remember correctly, a nice block. No new staging there. So it's just as is. I mean, 1.8 is a good price in that neighborhood. So it went, probably went pretty decently quick. Two days on market. Wow. Let's see what else we have here. 144 North Van Ness. This was, was this Robert Risher, Berkshire Hathaway? Five beds, five baths, 3,000 square feet, 9,000 lot, 2.8 million, 903 dollars, 930 a square foot, 144 Van Ness. So that's going to be not too, that's a decent location. You're probably getting a little bit of city traffic coming off of Beverly, but... Two point eight. I feel like if I was buying, I would end up somewhere in that neighborhood. There can easily walk over to Larchmont. The prices aren't too crazy, <clears throat> but it's really well, Van Ness is on the edge of it. Two two story back house. Very nice. Anyone seen this one? I mean. The yeah. front appeal isn't really there. It's just kind of a box, but. I thought it yeah. was priced to sell. 22 days on yeah. market. 646 North Cahuenga, 1.3 million. That's definitely priced to sell. Chase Campen's listing. Uh, is that his dad, Ray Schuldenfry? Have you, has anybody seen Ray in a while? Not in a while. That's, that was that. His father-in-law. Yeah, I haven't seen Dia or Ray in a while. Uh, I think one of, 
I'm speaking out of court, but one of them has Alzheimer's, I've heard. And I'm not sure which one it is. But I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. It would be Gia because Ray is on this. Um, Chase, though, is the son in law. Yeah. What did you say about one of them? I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. You said one of them, something about one of them. <sighs> yeah. They, they may be, somebody may be ill. Somebody's very ill. One of the one two. Of, oh, too much to right oh I see. I'm sorry about that. All right, so 646 North Cahuenga here uh, in escrow. What do you have to say? 1.3 million. That's all it is. It's it doesn't matter what is going. It's going to sell right away. I think I remember the owner of this. Five seventy five North Arlen Arden. Sorry, uh, and this is in. Larchmont uh, Village, three beds, three baths, 2,000 square feet, 7,100 lot. That's 944 a square foot, asking 1.89. Greg Harris, good old friend, 189. That's a come get me price for this house, which was, uh, I think we all remember, we had talked about it and it's really, really nice. Yeah. Okay. 137 South Large Run, Pete Bonacore's lifting. It's been coming soon for at least since last summer. Four beds, four baths, 4,100 square feet, $3 million. So it looks like it's 130 days on market and is in escrow now. $3 million is a big price for right there in that location, but boy, uh, not, much, not much inventory. You're going to have a walk, walk by traffic all day, every day. So you don't really have a front yard in a cozy front yard. You're really going to have to be in the back. So three million bucks, pretty big price. Okay. Uh, and that was how much a square foot? 729 a foot. Makes sense. 620 North Highland, a big, beautiful house listed by Sherry Beanstalk. Four beds, four, five baths, 4,000 square feet, 6,800 square foot lot. Even for the stars at 2.5 million, typically things are at around 2.1 now, 2.2 two max, and this is at 2.5, 6,800 square foot lot. I guess it's a big house. Also, it's uh, bare, I love the brick, so I, that might, it may, at least for me, it's more attractive like that. So, has the curb feel? Anybody been inside? So it's going to be one of the nicer houses on Highland. It's like it was all redone. 4,000 square feet. It's a pretty small price for a beautiful 4,000 square feet. Uh, $630 a square foot. I'm going to beat that. Took 167 days, too. All right, 342 North Windsor. That is at uh, Larchmont Village, north of Beverly. Four beds, three baths, 1,900 square foot, 5,000 lots. So small lot. Matthew Yim has the listing. 2.325 million, which is $1,213 a square foot. The location is right off of Beverly. It's not tucked in and Windsor is a stoplight street so you're half a block from traffic coming and turning on to Windsor um, but look at the style of this house somebody look at the black on the back side somebody really put some thought into this house so you can live in a design home for $1,200 a square foot even though the lot is 5,000 square foot and the house is 1,900. That's a lot. That's that's a beauty purchase right there. All right, that's it for the listings. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> on the, uh, on the <coughs> pending side, the escrow side. So <coughs> let's look quickly at the last two weeks 
Oh, did we already look at that? We did, didn't we? Yeah. There was only one listing for sale and only I mean, one new listing and also only four sales, one of which was out of the area. So three sales, one new listing, basically uh, 18 pendings that started in the last two weeks, roughly. And finally, um, what was the last? Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty bleak. Pretty bleak. It's uh, interesting because again, I had expected you know to see some of those come in, and some of them have. But at sixty-one, I mean, we're going to be in the fifties soon, possibly if we keep it up with this trend. And uh, so, like Ophir said, I guess we got to go out there and get more listings. Does anybody have any new listings coming up? Anything interesting? Any, 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 anyone know of any off market sales? Um, hey, it's Terry. Hey, Terry. I was going to, we were ready to mention it this week, and I was going to mention it, and then everything else, you know, was so crazy. Um, I have a duplex on Mansfield. We probably will be putting it on the market by next week. It is, will be delivered vacant. Totally, um, two five is what we're asking. It's one of the classics. So, I and what's the what's the block? Uh, Mansfield, the uh, yeah. two one 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 fifty nine to one sixty one South Mansfield, between Beverly and um, Third. You know, because they change their numbers on there from north to south. It, it's really confusing. <laughs> yeah. I'm headed over there today to see they're just finishing up. The property stood vacant for two years. And now, for reasons, I mean, he got caught over in Ghana and couldn't get back to sell it and everything. Um, so, but it now we will be putting it on the market. But I haven't really seen anything because I, you know, everything that's been said today just is so gloom and doom. I mean, I don't know, you know, who's going to come along. I wanted to keep it in house. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, make the announcement in house. Thank you. That's great. Terry, Anybody else? How, from uh, yes. Congratulations, Terry. What's the condition of it? Um. It's beautiful. I, I, it's going to go as is. Uh, we had at least his unit was hardly ever used because he travels all the time. The second unit, I kept it's three bedrooms, three baths. Um, it has a wonderful portico share that we've added hardwood floors to. The hardwood floors throughout are lovely, beautiful. Um, the master bedroom, which I had never seen before, the upper master bedroom leads out to a redwood deck, which is just just one wonderful and stupendous, with a uh, a winding staircase going up and down from the outside, which you can't get me on. But I didn't know that you could also get to it from you know the main master. So. We're finishing it up. If you, anybody who wants to see it, talk to me. I will get you in. And, um, huh? Let me know next time you're going. I'd love to check it out. Okay, sweetie. We'll, we'll do. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank and you, everybody. Thank you. All right, everybody. Uh, have a great, fantastic week. Thanks, Eric. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Thank, Thank you. Eric. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye.